Hello, everybody. Welcome to <laughs> That Checks Out with Damon and Ted. I am Ted. That makes him Damon. We're at Audio High Podcasting Studios with our super producer, deletes our music, changes stuff on us on the fly. We call him Mac. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Damon, how was your week? Uh, <clears throat> my week was actually pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. So, uh, kids starting high school football and... Um, yeah, other is than he that, in high school? Because otherwise it'd be weird. <laughs> 46. Starting high school football <laughs> should be pretty good. <laughs> you yeah. really should. Do you call him ace? <laughs> yeah. It takes a lot longer to heal up than the other guys do. But yeah, other than that, he's Ooh, right. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna need a breather. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna need you to pull that bench over yeah. here so I can sit down. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that's Ooh. a rough one. Who put the field that far from the oh, we're locker going, room? We're going the other way already. Oh, uh, that's uh, I would have paused by now if this yeah. was regular. <laughs> yeah. We only have three timeouts. Used them all in the first six minutes. <laughs> time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Oh, I was just saying time out. I didn't really mean to call a time out. I was just. But since we're stopped, how about we get some water or something? <laughs> That's just a thing I say. We don't need to be penalized for my, for my phrases. <laughs> they put it on the back of his jersey. Hey, time out. <laughs> Every time they call him from the sidelines, this yeah. is not working. Yeah. That's probably what got the XFL shut down. <laughs> Why do we let them pick their own nicknames? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, and then, that guy. Yeah, <laughs> so, suddenly, like suddenly, people are putting like touchdown as their nickname, yeah. or they're like, "Hey, that four yard run was by not guilty." I yeah. think he's trying to tell somebody <laughs> something. <laughs> he's making a statement. We just don't know yeah. what it is. <laughs> I, I don't think that's legally binding. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Completed pass by legally binding <laughs> to not guilty. <laughs> You know what? That checks out. Yeah. No, no, no. He was the center. That right. checks out was the center. <laughs> yeah. I could do that. would be a great game to watch, wouldn't it? <laughs> we got off the rails right away. Yeah, what straight, straight into the straight into the, the dumpster yeah. fire. <laughs> He's like, I don't even know. Where you're, is that that's a foosball? Wait, Wait what? what? Yeah. <laughs> is that like all of us layered over the top of yeah, each other? That's all of no, us. No, you guys did that. Like, we did it at the same yeah. time, so yeah, you pulled you it. Both synced up. Yeah. yeah. I might have time corrected it a tiny bit. <laughs> So, uh, how about your week, Ted? Anything? Well, not, not as exciting as our new XFL. <laughs> <laughs> You've created a new sport yeah. that apparently you're all in on. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think I really did anything. I went to comedy on Thursday at the uh, Two Brothers Roundhouse in Aurora. That's yeah. called Still Not Friday. Yeah, because it's not on Thursday. Yeah. Put on by some of our great friends. Some of the producers are our good friends. TJ, Matt, KB, nice. Mike. Nice. Yeah. So, good yeah, show. So. I haven't been out there yet to see that. Good you, show? Yeah, you should. It is a good show. They yeah. put on a really good show. The best part about it, there's no cover. Yeah, so, so that you, would be nice yeah, then. So, and there's, and there's no, week. like, please go there and support the restaurant, but there is no minimum. Like, you don't have to be like, well, you didn't buy two things, so we're going to sit here and stare at you. But yeah, <laughs> the, the menu's great. They actually serve food. It's like a full, like, you get you can order from the full restaurant and the full bar, so you actually want to order. That's nice. Cause most yeah. comedy clubs, you get like, yeah, some places like, yeah. Um, candy bars. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess I'll pay five bucks for you to stick your hand in that bag of M&Ms and give me eight of them. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Right. You're not gonna let me out until I do. Well, I, how about I just give you the five bucks? You eat the M&Ms. We'll call yeah. it even like, yeah. just, just write down that I paid for it. Uh, you're doing the Chris. How about I get you two fitting yeah. and you eat them in front of me. How much <laughs> for just one rib? <laughs> <laughs> See, he laughs at other people's stuff. <laughs> Very good. If you if you ever meet Mac on the street, just do somebody else's bit. He will enjoy it. <laughs> I will tell you, he will be totally receptive. Except to don't it. do our bits. No, no, you, not ours. He'll be like, "What? I've never heard of that." Before. Yeah, yeah. He'll be like, "Wait, you, what? you were in the room when they said it. Doesn't matter. I yeah, didn't doesn't, hear it. doesn't. Was you, it? You edited it. Doesn't matter." <laughs> Whoa! You know what I watched? I watched a new uh, informative YouTube video on how to edit podcasts. Yeah, yeah. Can you do it now? No, because I kind of fast forwarded through it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I would too. <laughs> It wasn't about my podcast, so I was like, ah. You're just coming up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I might watch that one. It's like, it'd be interesting because I don't do anything. I address, I, Damon. I have nothing. I, I address Damon directly in it a couple times. I have nothing to do with the <laughs> editing in this, so it might be interesting to see what you two are doing. Yeah. <laughs> when you guys are like, hey, it's up and edited. I'm like, all right, cool. I guess we're done with that one. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> What'd we call it? <laughs> yeah. And then when you ask me questions, hey, should I uh, should I edit this part out? And I'm like, what part? You're going to have to remind me. Right. Yeah. We just recorded it last week. I know. Yeah. <laughs> what part are we talking about? Well, I like to send it to Mac because when he proofreads and oversees everything, nothing gets by him. He's very, yeah, very, he's very, very attentive and, yeah. and observant. So I really, I really like that. Hey, Mac, did you notice anything different about us when we came in today? <laughs> at all? Did you notice anything? No. Not at all? Uh-uh. Hmm. 
Ted has a nice brand yes, new shirt I am, on. I am the walking billboard of that check. That has nothing to do with me. <laughs> nice shirt. Oh, yeah, He's yeah. got a nice nice hat. Um, I I, yeah. I shaved this morning into what's called a monkey beard. What the? Yeah. Yeah. I've, we had an entire conversation about it, me going to a concert, a monkey's concert, which is true. <laughs> hey, you have to you have to turn your head all the way. The camera can't see. Huh? Yeah. The camera only what, sees the unshaved. The camera's sign. that way. There you go. I don't I don't think you knew there was a camera on him. Yeah. <laughs> well, remember well, that, that was the thing. That we're adds in the, 30 pounds. We're in the car and he's like talking to the people driving by that about his beard. I'm like, you realize they can only see you in profile. <laughs> to them, it looks fine. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on which side, it's either a goatee or a beard. They don't know. It looks absolutely asinine. Yeah. <laughs> I turn around. <laughs> Ted came walking up in the garage when he got there and I turn around and he's like, well, that's something. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like, <laughs> a little behind the scenes TMI. I was not feeling well this morning. I told him, hey, I, I might have to cancel. I had I'm, already I'm, done I'm, this. Yeah, he'd already done it. I'm not really feeling well. Like, this is, I don't want to do this, but I'm going to come in. Yeah. And I walk in the garage, like, all quiet and everything. And he turns around. And he's like, hey, hey. And I'm like, oh, I guess <laughs> we're doing this today. And he thought it was because I had seen his beard. It was like, no, because you startled me with your, hey, hey. <laughs> I like But, to yeah, make, it's, uh, it's it, a thing. It's yeah. something. Yeah. Now, from the from their profile, this looks like goatee. So, I'm okay. See, this way, goatee. But over here, no, not so much. How, how long are you going to let that go? Uh, five pounds. I got to drop five pounds. So, so you're going yeah. to see that for a while, man. So I am, nope, I am fasting today, and I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping. No, I, I, it better not be water weight. If you put yeah, that five pounds say, back like on. Should, I feel like it should have to be, you know, for oh, oh, an extended well, period Well, first of time. off, Mac I'll and I are on the same page for once. Next time I come in here, you won't know if I have it or not anyway, That's Mac, just, so that, it doesn't matter. That is very true. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You know matter. what the best part is? I even texted them after twenty after five minutes of us sitting here and be like, check out Damon's beard. <laughs> Didn't check his phone. The one time he doesn't check his phone. But he, but he did pull up a Google of of, uh, of a whale video, YouTube of a whale video where the from the what seventies? Yes, yeah. where they exploded the whale. So it, he 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 went to his phone for or went to his stuff for that. Yeah, That's check okay. it out, guys. Because just to hear the one guy be like, "Well, we weren't sure how much explosive we was going <laughs> to need. We might have to do a little bit of cleanup. Maybe set another charge <laughs> after it's done." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cut to forty-five minutes of whale guts raining over the entire beach. <laughs> yeah, from and it, they still didn't blow up the whole no, whale. No, and yeah. and it was it was in Oregon, and I think they they totaled the car in Kentucky with whale yeah, pieces. Yeah. They just still had to push more yeah. into the sand and bury it. Which imagine that sandcastle when you're out there with Johnny, just like, like digging. I don't know what I found, but it reeks to high right. hell. <laughs> this is terrible. Yeah. Hey, I wore my new that checks out T-shirt to Ren Fair. How'd that go? No one asked you about it. Nobody right? asked me about it. <laughs> That Maybe if out. I had like a sword or something yeah. with me, you didn't. Oh, you, you yeah. didn't need to tell us that. But I was. Yeah, <laughs> what's, I was, I was what's the least interesting person? We there. talked about Ren Fair, the Renaissance Fair. Oh, for the okay. Yeah. <laughs> See, now when you put it in hip, cool terms like that, I yeah. don't know what it is. Well, they probably didn't have check marks back then. <laughs> <laughs> what is this weird devil symbol you have on your shirt? <laughs> ah! <laughs> and it's in a circle. I have no idea what you're doing. Yeah, they're used to targets. Isn't targets, right? Is what they're used yeah. to. So we should have switched. Yeah. They but didn't have any Walmarts in the uh yeah. <laughs> yeah. in the fifteen hundreds. <laughs> yeah. Which is too bad because they could have returned anything there. Right. <laughs> Target, a little more strict. <clears throat> Call me. So anyway, <laughs> hey, uh, a couple things that I I I left just to catch up, a couple things I did leave out. I did go when I was traveling, I did go to the uh Ralphie and Randy house from a Christmas story. Yeah, I wonder. I, I noticed that didn't get in there. I, I didn't. I didn't mention that. I know we briefly went over that. I did go to Cheers. I had a Norm burger and I got a Norm root beer because they sell you the bottle. You know, you can take the bottle home and Chuck likes bottles. So it was like four bucks for that. It was it was good, but it's it's root beer. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. IBC with Norm's face on it. You know. Yeah. Um. But uh, and the burger was good, but it, we didn't sit. They had a um like a stage set that you could actually sit at that looked like the bar when you walked in. Um, but, uh, we didn't sit there. We sat down in the restaurant and ate and did that. But, uh, the gift shop was crazy because people, you don't have to eat there. You can just come in and go to the gift shop, of right. course, because they want to sell stuff. I get it. So you, it's like, man, I, I couldn't even see nothing. Cause I mean, I'm constantly, I turn around and there's five people in my face. I'm like, I'm good. You know, I'm trying to remember where I, they, cause they put them in an airport. They put airport bar version of cheers in some airports at one point. Really? I trying. I went to, it was when I went to DC in high school for a high school trip, but I don't remember which airport it was in, but I do have the pictures of it where, I mean, they, I mean, it, you went to the actual one, like the actual place where they took the pictures outside for the show and everything. And right. they, re, they did it to make it look, 
they made it look like cheers as much as they could in an airport, but still you just turn your head one way and you're like, oh yeah, there's, <laughs> there's Hudson news out there. <laughs> yeah. There's these, these are airport places. You wouldn't know them. Yeah. There's <laughs> right. There's a place where you get all your trail mix. <laughs> so it was weird that they would do that. But yeah, I, I think it'd be much cooler to go to the one that's actually in Boston. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, um, I, I don't like being picked on for not knowing airport stuff. So I'm going to brush up on that now. Well, you have to go into an airport. Oh, well, then I'm not going to brush up on that yeah. at all. <laughs> and you have to buy a ticket to get past security. So <laughs> good luck with that. It cost me $12,000. Yeah. I flew nowhere. Oh, Hudson News is the bookstore. Oh, oh, this sucks. Man, this <laughs> sucks. But now it's so relevant to yeah, me. Now it's so makes relevant. Sense. <laughs> so, you went, so you went to Cheers and you went to, you, you stayed in the house next the pup. Yeah, we stayed yeah. in the Bumpus' house. So that was kind of neat because the house was like untouched from that time period, you know, made yeah. to look that way. Um, fun, a lot Kids of cool stuff. Kids hear what springs sound like in beds, did they? <laughs> no, not there. <laughs> but no, you know what's weird is um, when we went that in. That beard of yours? Yeah, this too. You take a tour of of their house, of, you know, Ralphie and Randy's house, and it, it is just like the movie. It's so weird because, you know, back then, cameras were so much bigger. So... I guess what happened is, is these, these, uh, the two producers, this uh, quick story behind it, the two producers were rolling through town and they were looking for a location, um, to shoot. And they, they go to the bar across the street, which we went and ate at. I didn't know it was the same place, like a, a bar and grill, right? Really good food. And so we go, we go across the street to eat there and we turn out it's the same place that, uh, they were sitting there and they said to have a beer because they went up, they saw the house. They're like, we, did, we did either go one of them have, Mac and cheese or chicken fingers. Probably. Probably okay. both of them. Yeah. Probably both of them. Checks out. <laughs> so <clears throat> what was weird is, is they go, um, as they're sitting at the bar, they, they basically look across the street and they, or they're going to the bar to eat, right? Or to, to get a drink, whatever. And when they pull up, they see the house across the street and they're like, it was like untouched. It was like, it could pass for something out of the 50s. This is very weird because they hadn't even seen the movie and nope. they knew it was the Christmas yeah, story house. Weird. Yeah. But, but what was even weirder is, is that these other houses, because now this is the 80s, right? The other houses have all been, like, updated. So I never realized it, and I won't watch the movie again until Christmas when it's on for 24 hours straight. But when they leave for school in the morning and he can't put his arms down and they're walking in front of all those houses, it is weird because all those houses do look 30 years newer. All right. than, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's, that's a weird, weird tactic. I didn't know. So anyways, they're sitting there. They see the house. They knock on the door. They ain't get nothing. They go back over there having a beer, and they start asking the bartender, like, what do you know about this house Was it here? his house? No. Oh. The guy's sitting there having a beer. He goes, what do you want to know about my house? Hand to guy. I mean, that's pretty convenient. And that's that's pretty weird. Well, he's right across the street. Well, I meant for yeah. him. <clears throat> right. Do, do you keep beer in the house? No, I just go to the bar across the street. It's right there. So they said they paid him, because um, now he was a steel worker working there, right? They they paid him uh, $20,000. To the use star in Flashdance? Yeah. <laughs> He's a maniac. <laughs> he is a maniac. Um, but no, so they paid him 20 grand and uh, and used his house. And then they ended up, when they got inside, they never saw the inside before. They, and they went in, they're like, oh, it's small. Yeah. Yeah, but it yeah, was, that's how they built houses mm -hmm. back then. Sure. But it was really neat. I mean, everything was set like it was. Um, it was totally worth, you know, the the tour price and going. And they have a gift shop there or whatever. Um, but I got I to gotta tell you what, if I was the neighbors, I'd be so pissed. Because the street is full all the time. Oh, yeah. You know what Production I mean? for that, sure. <clears throat> but not, not even now. Oh, yeah, yeah now. Right, even right, now, right. the yeah. tourism. The tourism. We went, because we stayed in that Bumpus house, and I said, look, they open the next day for tours at, like, I think it was 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock, whatever it was. We were going to take the first tour and then bug out of town, right? And it was 9 o'clock. So I said, about 8, 8.30, I said, let's go over there and line up. And I'm glad we did, because there was a line a mile. Because imagine being like, hey, we stayed right there. We want to take the tour today. And they go, next tour is in four hours. <laughs> You're like, ah, uh, cool. Right. Now I got to figure out what to do in this neighborhood for four yeah. hours, yeah. you know? Look so, at me. I'm in Delaware. Yeah. So I so I went over to the line, and I'm glad we did because, we, you know, we got first. We were second people in line. It was fine. Um, but, uh, but no, the tour was totally worth it. The, the guy... He was very, um, you know how when you get a tour guide and you're like, man, this is going to suck. This guy was almost like the uh, Sheldon Cooper from Big Bang. Like just all the fun fact, random knowledge, fun fact. And you're like, wow. I mean, it was really cool. Even if he made up all the stuff he was saying, yeah. it was really, really cool, you know? So, but that was totally worth it. And then uh, before we got out of, uh, actually right before we left Boston, Nicole got to sit down and have uh, dinner with a friend she hadn't seen since she was 10 years old. Right? Jealous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. She waits about 30, 35 yeah. years to yeah. see her friends. Yeah, not of the dinner with the friend is the the time period. It's the time I, period yeah. you're jealous of. But we had a we had a waitress, Katie, that came over to the table. And uh, uh she, is this gonna be a good story? Because you are notorious for naming names when you shouldn't. Yeah, no, she okay. was she was hysterical. Um, because I was giving her all kinds of crap. That night the Olympics were on, which made Nicole's day too. So we're on the TV, right? And they're doing the speed walking. I did not know that this is an Olympic sport. Yeah. Okay. It looks like you're trying to pinch a pinch a crap in your pants. <laughs> It looks like and the next toilet is four miles away. I, oh, it's so awesome. It yeah. looks like they're all, and they're like, they're putting guys in timeout. I go, why? They go, both his feet were off the ground at the same time. Yeah. I'm like, what are you talking about? No, that's the rules. You're literally, yeah, it looks like you're speed walking because you have to just, you have to take a dump. Right. I've got to get there. And you're trying yeah. to beat everybody yeah. behind you're you. You're doing that wiggle. <laughs> you got the wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. So we're watching. So I, I made a couple you know, like I just decided to be me. appropriate comments. I'm <laughs> right. sure no. but I decided to be me. And I told her, I says, Hey, if you don't bring our food out like that. So she leaves a table and she's doing the thing. And, and I was like, so she was a good sport, but that she, seems to have ulterior motives. We won't discuss. So she said, she said something to me and she goes, Oh, too far. And I go, not far enough. You have no idea how much leeway you have, you know? <laughs> and so it was really fun. It was a good dinner. Um, but I wanted to say that Katie, our waitress, because she also, she wanted my card and our card. And she, she, oh, she says she's going to listen. Hi, she Katie. wants to listen. And then you forgot to bring her up on our recap. Well, no, I didn't, I didn't get that far. Oh, you know what I mean? We, we ran out of time because nice way to remember cover. you wanted to tell a story. Remember? Oh yeah. Yeah. Was, uh, Cause I got some feedback that said you should talk more because the other guy sucks. <laughs> uh, my favorite part of the Olympics this year was yeah. that NBC was like unprecedented. The winter Olympics will be in just a few months in February of 2022. And I was like, um, do you guys not remember when the Olympics were the same year every year? Like it was in 1994 when they split. It's like, that wasn't, a, that's not a precedent NBC. Yeah. It used to be, they were both in the same year. <laughs> this is, this is just kind of back to what it used to be for a little bit. And then we'll go back to the normal thing. It was, do you know what unprecedented means? Yeah. <laughs> you just have nothing left to talk about the NBC because no one watched your Olympics. <laughs> Somebody get NBC a thesaurus and let them know what it means. <laughs> we can use other we, uh, words No, we don't, we're not taking dinosaurs. <laughs> Hard pass. Is that, the, is that the one with the little arms? No, yeah. Damon, it's a book. <laughs> it's a book. <laughs> oh, that, that, that was clearly why you wouldn't know about it. A theosaurus. Isn't he from the Cosby show? Yeah. That's a theosaurus. See, now that's a reference of not everybody will get either. And not everyone <laughs> wants to get it anyway. Right. Yeah. Mac, you leaned over. Do you have something to add? What'd you do this week? I got another dog. <laughs> like temporary or like your like dog a, or a keeper? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, another one. Another one? We got a side gig now? It. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, is it, is it my dog? How's this one? No. Healthy okay. and live. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, it's Amy's aunt's. Amy's aunt's dog. Yep. Oh. Adam ant's dog. <laughs> Adam ant. <laughs> See, references are coming out, man. Right. They're coming. Nobody gets them. Right. Nobody gets them. Is his name Heatcliff by chance? Cause that would be <laughs> ironic. Cause that's a cat. It's a cat. <laughs> wow. We're going deep, deep cuts right now. <laughs> deep cuts. Was that it? Vaguely wow. aware of this. Wow. So, so that's did why we, you leaned we, over. Yeah, we asked for. No, no, I don't know. <clears throat> yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't remember, but you changed the subject, whatever it was. <laughs> hey. Uh, sorry, I got I to gotta pick the beat back up. Go ahead. We, we really sucked the air out of the room on that one. <laughs> oh, 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 we got a new button. Oh, oh man. Hey, you know what? Let's lead that in. Let, let's build the, 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 uh, the so room back up. All right. Okay, ready? Fight me, bra. We're going to do a fight me, bra. Let's get the energy back in here. I have a really good one that's at the bottom of my list that I'm scrolling at, and I'm talking to buy oh, time. Oh, so we're going to bring the energy up by letting you scroll your phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, the other thing I do want to say, too, for anybody that's in their car right now, hey, Siri, I want to say that <laughs> because we found out that what is it? When I say Google, yeah, Google, when I say that, it messes up stuff where the then the phone starts searching and then we all know when you when you interrupt a podcast for some reason it goes back like 10 seconds 15 seconds uh, when did we find i didn't know this <clears throat> when did we find yes so i know hey, this google search that checks out <laughs> <laughs> hey siri <laughs> directions to nearest restaurant <laughs> say hi to katie <laughs> <laughs> so I just wanted to add that. There's a good one. And this is a, this is a, actually a girl fight. Girl fight. Um, once in college. So fight my bra? Yeah. <laughs> fight me, bra. <laughs> once in college, a girl threw a beer on me and shoved me because I was counting things like the count from Sesame Street. <laughs> one, ah, uh, ah, uh, two, ah, uh, ah, uh, two beer pong balls, ah, uh, ah. Uh. It was probably pretty annoying. <laughs> it was because he does three ah, uh, ahs. Uh, so yeah. The fact that you stop at two. <laughs> 
I wanted to throw a beer I was, at you. I was reading it. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Right. I wanted to throw a beer at you, yeah. reading but, this woman's <clears throat> words. But I just started thinking, because when I read that, I'm like, we do that, like, randomly at times. I mean, you've heard it on the podcast here where we do that. Right. So I couldn't imagine, like, someone throwing a beer on me because yeah. I was doing the ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, you know, in public. That would be hysterical. Right. And I wouldn't fight back, of course, because it's a girl. Yeah. Well, it's the same as when everything, something happens to be uh, the number 12. And you do the 7, 8, 9, 10, <laughs> 11, 12. <laughs> I mean, you got to throw that in randomly, too. But you, you can't start at 1. You got to start like, because you do the 7, 8, 9. People know where you're going. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. You're a certain age. You know where the 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You know where it's going. Yeah, but you got to pause and yeah. you got to see if anybody else does it. Yeah. That's like the, well, the, the best TikTok now is when the people, they, they go, can I get a, oh yeah, you know, they do that. And then, uh, you know, people from across the store will do it. That's how you you date yourself when you're our age. You're like seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And then you just turn and then <laughs> 11, 12. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you get it. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Man. One old person. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Two old people. Ah, ah, ah. Mac, you're shaking your head. You don't you don't like it? Uh, I've never heard that before. Google Sesame Street. 12. <laughs> just, just Sesame Street 12. That's all you need. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sesame <laughs> Street 12. <laughs> it's two seconds behind. That. We are pissing people off right now. <laughs> now. It started about 25 started minutes ago. Starting now. <laughs> we turn those into buttons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need a new board, Mac. Yeah. yeah. We only have 15 buttons. This is not working. I know. We we could learn, you could learn how to work the layers. We did once, and then yeah. you took it away. Yeah, I was going to. You showed us how to do it. We, we did it the next week, and you're like, oh, I deleted those. Well, in our defense, <laughs> one of us learned once. The other guy's like, this ain't working. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, so yeah, I, I just, I wanted to, to touch base on the, on the stuff that I've, I just don't get like why that was enough to necessitate a beer to the face. Yeah. I don't know either because again, I, unless they, she was counting the times that her boyfriend had cheated on, like, you know, <laughs> how many times I've been with your boyfriend? One. Uh, 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 I don't like two. the way you, uh, uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is we talked about last week, remember the goat. Yeah, and then we, I well, I said best of all time. You're like that's the boat. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like, like let's talk about the goat, the best of all time. That's <laughs> that's not a G. So nah, close. That's yeah, not how that works. <laughs> we were so close. <laughs> so I came up. What about the bloat, the biggest loser of all time? And I think I nailed it with the way I I was editing that that episode, and I was like, oh man, I really said that. I'm not cutting it out. It stayed, you know. Yeah. But I was just like, yeah, I really. That's like the best of all time. No, no, no. That's not what it means. <laughs> right. It's not like that at yeah. all. <laughs> I mean, it, it's like that. It's, it is not that. Yeah. <laughs> it is similar to, you are correct. <laughs> hey, the other thing I saw the other day too, I saw a guy who was about about my size wearing a, you familiar with the Warrior Dash? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's basically like, uh, uh, I mean, it's it's a weird. Uh, it's like you, you submit yourself to torture. To, Correct. To run an obstacle course. And get a, yeah. get a t-shirt. It's like if, But yeah. you pay for it. Yeah. It's like if a 5K and Fear Factor got together and American Ninja and all the, like, all the things like got together and you're like, yeah, I'd like to pay like a hundred bucks to do that. Yeah. And I'd like that $6 t-shirt when we're done. Right. And, uh, and that trophy. Yeah. I'd like to wear the t-shirt during the run so it's ruined. <laughs> so it is ruined by the time. Anyway, so you saw a guy your <laughs> size do the warrior run. You're like, did, so did you get that at Goodwill or what did you ask? Well, I was, I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, were you the obstacle? Like, did yeah. they have to run around you? Was it like, okay. Now, if his nickname on the back was Private Pile. <laughs> <laughs> That's another reference. No, it was, it was allegedly. Full metal jacket. <laughs> it was That's his allegedly. XFL jersey. It was yeah. allegedly. <laughs> oh. Private Pile. I just watched that like two weeks ago. Yeah, so you remember when you couldn't get over the obstacles? Yes. and they all, Yeah, that's what, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Super funny when you have to explain him. <laughs> <laughs> so they basically, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, he gets it now. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, everybody that's not him gets a sack full of soap at the right, starting right. line. <laughs> and they just beat the piss out of him when they go past him. Uh, but no, I just, I saw that and I'm like, man, because he really, first off. I uh, mean, I want to do one of those, but I clearly, I, I mean, just like this podcast, I went off rail real quick. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know if I'll ever get to that point. See, I don't, I don't ever want to do one. If anyone time. hears this and thinks that I can do it and wants to like, you know, be my accountability partner because no one else has been a great accountability partner to this point. Clearly, let me know. If you want, or, or want to see me die? I see what you're. I was going to say yeah. we're going to need you to be strong. You're going to have to. You're going to have to huff that body yeah. through the last seven of the eight yeah. obstacles. 
Is this a team yeah. event? How many sacks of cement have you carried <laughs> under barbed wire and through fire? I was going to say horse shit, but okay, it's <laughs> all good. <laughs> <laughs> what I don't like is you spend the whole time in the mud. I don't really like it's like like four wheeling and stuff like that. It's cool. Oh, as look, long as the truck don't get stuck. Mac, look who just got dainty. <laughs> I don't like it because you gotta get in the mud. I'll say it with my pinky in the air yeah. then. Um no, I, I really Which, uh, no, I, I I'm totally aware of your well, it's like we your, went, your mud awareness. Yeah, because who was the one that had to walk in the mud every time you're like, hey, we're gonna come by and check out the crowd and throw some like freebies and talk to people? And it was like, my buddy Ted's gonna go out there. <laughs> Yeah, mud volleyball. There was yeah. like a quarter inch of mud on the concrete, but I was yeah. like, yeah, yeah, Ted's going. But no, those this guy- guy's literally picking up his skirt and his pantaloons and daintily <laughs> walking like, oh, oh, they're on that side. Okay, well, I'm going to walk all the way around to meet them. Hold on. <laughs> Ted's like, have you seen my coat? I threw it over that puddle right yeah. there. <laughs> no, I, I, I really. Why is my face missing from the banner? Oh, I cut it out. So I could hopscotch these puddles. You would hear so much cussing and, and ignorance and ridiculous and screaming the second my feet were soaked. You know what I mean? Which is, I mean, that's immediate. Yeah. You're like jumping in mud and, and army crawling under barbed wire or whatever you're doing. It's like, cool. If I'm getting in the Marines, this is necessary. <laughs> if I want a $5 t-shirt, yeah. I'll go buy one. Right. You know? Odds are I just got to outlive the dude that got this one. Yeah. And I could probably and, buy and it, then at you a, can get it at Goodwill. At a, <laughs> yeah. I could get that with my bun cake pants. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're going to buy some new pants? No, they were bun cake pants. So, so I did, I watched a little TV this week too. Um, have you ever seen the show, My Strange Addiction? I have. Okay. This so, is the woman that ate her own couch. Yes. Yes. And then uh, she ate her own couch, uh, the cushions, which are yeah. gross. Yeah. That, um, yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> See, he wakes up for that. Yeah. Oh. Um, no, there was a lady on there that she basically, she was eating tissue paper, toilet paper. Oh yeah. 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 yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 I've seen that one. So it was crazy because she would eat a half a roll a day and she says two ply is easier to digest. Well, it is softer, you know, I'm sure it doesn't feel like sandpaper going down your esophagus. But she says you eat it one ply at a time. So to me, that's like a double stuff Oreo when you're like, who would cut it in half? Well, no, that's like when you just take, you spin the cookie and you lick out the inside and yeah. then you eat each piece of the cookie. <laughs> So, yeah, no, I, I've seen that. Yeah. But if, if you eat it one ply at a time, 23 years she's been doing this equals 1,200 rolls. So she's the one that caused the problem yeah. <laughs> last year. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't want to see her get in the pool. She's super Did she lose a lot of weight in 2020 because she, <laughs> yeah. she couldn't get her snacks? I'm starving. Right. They have steak. Yeah. They have now, milk. <laughs> d does that... Here's a here's a question for you, engineering minds, Mac Damon. Does that self wipe? <laughs> yeah, right. Is that self wiping? Just snacks? comes out clean. Yeah, just yeah. comes out clean. Yeah. Woo, woo, <laughs> woo. <laughs> they, uh, we're gonna get into uh, bidet. We don't. I don't need one. Yeah. I take care of that on the, how, on, on the front side. How does that do too? And you're like, man, I really gotta go, but I'm so hungry. <laughs> Oh no! I only got three sheets left. That's what I, I was reading some article where people like, things uh, women learned about men after they moved in with them. And one of them was like eating while while on the toilet. Like I won't. I no no. I don't. Whoever does that, you're gross. I hate food. Any food anywhere near the bathroom, it's it's dead to me. So I used to have a a, a habit. <laughs> used to, but I I would make it like a hot pocket or something. You yeah. know, and then I would take it upstairs. Well, now if I yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm also thinking this is funny, but <laughs> Brian's reaction is killing me. Okay. <laughs> well, sometimes, because a hot pocket to me is like ham and cheese, but sometimes I'll have other stuff in it. So anyway, so I'd make, I'd make a hot pocket. <laughs> what, what, hey, what, hey, you want to go over for a ham and you? cheese and you set down a pepperoni <laughs> pizza hot pocket? What, what is this? <laughs> Damon, that's a crust of ball. What is Doesn't this? It doesn't go in the microwave. Is this how everyone in the South calls it everything Coke? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is not a ham and cheese. <laughs> so, so anyway, my, my biggest thing is I go upstairs and then I'm, I'm going to change. So if I'm going to change. I try harder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah change start with the man in the mirror yeah Ooh, great song by michael jackson so anyway uh he's asking me to change my ways so what what's weird is is i can't set it down in my room because a dog will eat it so oh, i would oh, yeah, i, I yeah, literally yeah. walk it in i'd set it on the bathroom counter and then i'm like oh now i gotta eat this no no i was like oh no because you and it's my bathroom it's my master bathroom it's still just something you won't do yeah i won't do it. i've been to bears games where I've seen guys set a full plate of nachos on the top of the urinal. And it's like, wow. No. You know, first off, I don't walk in the bathroom with the food. Yeah. I have a hard time if you have a drink and you're like, uh, because you're not going to leave it outside either. Yeah. Be like, uh, okay, I'll just pee later. 
You know? <laughs> the past 18 months aside, I am not a huge germaphobe at all. Right. But no, anything that goes in the bathroom, which is weird because, you know, that's where I keep my toothbrush, but it is what it is. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, it goes in your mouth a couple times yeah, a day. Anything that goes in the bathroom <laughs> does not go in my mouth. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> I like that. You guys it's don't weird. keep your toothbrush in your bedroom? No. Why do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, he says, he's, no, what are you, stupid? You said it. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. like, Whoa, where are you getting that idea from? <laughs> your mouth, eight seconds ago. <laughs> Was it in my bathroom? <laughs> That's, that's so, you don't keep your in your bathroom too, do you? Where do you get that idea? I don't know. Somebody told me once. <laughs> You're so crazy, dude. I think he's got, first off, not observant, but he's got the giggles, yeah. <laughs> which I can really appreciate. I'm really yeah, enjoying it. It's, it's fascinating. <laughs> it's fascinating. <laughs> that's the word we're going with. I'm going to get you a thesaurus. <laughs> no, thanks. I don't do dinosaurs. <laughs> All right. It's a theosaurus. My name is Ted. So. Yeah, the other thing I saw on that show was there's a guy who's addicted to casting himself. He makes cast for like. Oh, his- like he put himself in his own movies? That sounds like you. <laughs> right, yeah. I got a great guy for the part. I think it's, it's, it's me. <laughs> yeah. Mac. Ah, look at coming you. Coming in strong. Coming through. Going. How else does somebody get so many movie roles? Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know. I think he, he and Bruce Willis have the same shit manager right now. <laughs> Do they really? Yeah. You're like new to Netflix. It's like Bruce Willis, Bruce Willis, Nick Cage, Bruce Willis, Nick Cage, Bruce Willis. <laughs> All movies you've never heard of. Well, what's weird is, is you do that, then you look and it's like Adam Sandler, but it's his film studio that did oh, yeah. it. He's the producer. Well, that, He's the, yeah. That te- That's checks, cool. That checks with your yeah. casting himself. But the Bruce Willis stuff, his picture will be in all these movies and then you find out he's in it for like four minutes. Yeah. I think he was just walking through the studio and they're like, hey, Bruce, what? <laughs> now starring Bruce Willis. <laughs> <laughs> the part of Brian will be played by Bruce Willis. Wait, wait, wait what? <laughs> that wasn't the button. <laughs> that wasn't the button. <laughs> no, but this guy, he, so he, he puts. And like his whole, his whole self is his hands and feet so, and different things. So he has a girlfriend and she's tired of it. You he think? will show up at a date with his arm in a cast <laughs> and nothing's wrong with him. Oh, see, this is totally not. This is the yeah. third definition of cast. I did not. Yes. I didn't know that's what you meant. Yes, I thought you meant like you made like you know like you take a mold and you make it like a cast of your hand and then yeah. like you have like hey look at here's a fake hand of my own hand. You're talking like he actually puts like medical casts on himself. Yeah, and so in re- is he in re- doing it for sympathy? Is that what he does? No, it's just his thing. He likes to be. I I think what it is. I hate to say it and listen to him talk for the eight minutes he was on TV. I think he likes the restrictions. Like it's almost like a submissive thing, but it's not. It's weird. Because he put himself in a half body cast, so he's in a torso with both his arms and out, and he's got like the and the supportive arms that he went on a date that way. His arms, like when he went to open the door, his hands move, but he has to like you know, and then he has to turn sideways to go through the doorway. He goes on a date. He walks up the table. She loses her mind. <clears throat> She's like, "This has to stop." He's like, "What?" <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> he literally says, "What?" All right. So if I'm casting this movie, yeah. <laughs> I see this go two ways. Yeah. Hey, honey, are you into BDSM? No. Okay, plan B. <laughs> right. Or he, she walks up to the thing and like, this has to stop. What? And all of a sudden she pulls out like a battery powered, like, you know, circular saw. <laughs> I'll show you what. Yeah. Just like starts cutting it off right there in the restaurant. So so he literally goes to like a therapist and he, he says, he goes, he goes, I'm going to lose my, my girlfriend. Uh, who I think might even be his fiance. Again, I, I didn't pay that much to the relationship. I just know. Fiance. Here, here's what I know. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is going to be a short I, list. Go ahead. I know, I know that if this guy can get a girlfriend, anybody can get a girlfriend, right? But anyway, he, he goes in and he tells her, or tells the, the therapist, he's like, you know, I'm going to do this. And he goes, she wants me to stop casting. And he, he literally says out of his mouth, he goes, that would be like cutting off my right arm. I'm like, how about just cutting off the fake cast on that freaking arm, dude? Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Maybe you just paint the cast to look like your right arm <laughs> and cut it off. And you're like, well, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> you get a chia pet girl. Yeah. So, it's my hair. It's hair in my arm. <laughs> I mean, I saw the, Did you see the episode where the guy fell in love with his Pontiac? No. Yeah, he was dating his Pontiac. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> there's that show, and then there's the, um, the I don't remember. It's like the people that are really uh, frugal, the tightwad show. I don't yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We watch that. Yeah. There's the one guy that took his date to the movies and then dug stuff out of the trash and went and got refills in it. You were you were, you were telling us about that. That's hysterical. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, I got you something. You want some popcorn? Yeah. yeah. There's juju bees at the bottom yeah. of this. Yes, there is. You're welcome. We hope. <laughs> we hope that's what they are. He's got his fingers oh, crossed. Oh, yeah, because I told you about the woman that yeah. like 
<laughs> like the people, there are multiple people that would re- like, apparently they were not friends with the one woman because they refused to buy toilet paper. The one woman just used a cloth and the other family used like reusable cloths. So like the, the basket on the right was where the clean ones and the basket on the left were the ones that were soiled. Really? Yeah. Man, I, I live in a house. Imagine you come over to your friend's house and you'd be like, um, there's no toilet paper. Oh yeah. Yeah. We, we wipe our ass with the ones on the left. But he's looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> and we dump it into one on the right. And then you're sitting down and you're like, is that as I'm looking at it? <laughs> or as I'm sitting here? Wait a minute now. Is this like in a car where I'm in the driver's seat and right is right and left is left? Or is this ooh. like, ooh, okay, this is weird. I do the sniff test, but I don't put anything near my mouth that's been in a bathroom. <laughs> right. And then you pull out yeah. you pull out your purse and you're like, oh, this is great because I brought my- I brought toilet. a snack. I yeah. brought a snack. So yeah. I can just go ahead and use this. <laughs> Uh, so believe it or not, that dude was not the weirdest. I'm walking on air. <laughs> that was another, another believe it or not <laughs> reference. Mac. George isn't at home. Yeah, that's great. Um, those they used to really make that stuff though. Remember when he had answer machines and you get those weird like, I'm I'm glad you yeah. called, but I'm not home. Oh. I'll be back before too long. Remember those? They were like yeah. cassette. You tapes? could actually like buy them on the like. It's like I, I buy our cassette tape of like, uh, or I could just say what you said. Yeah, yeah. into my own answer. Machine. You know what's weird is I just put the microphone by <laughs> right, the TV, right. and I now have. Yeah, that. I am an entire generation of recording songs <laughs> off the radio. <laughs> I've got this one. Don't worry about it. What do you think, Mac? You record stuff for a living. Yeah, started off with the tape recorder. See, <laughs> you sounded like all oh, like started off with the tape recorder. <laughs> he went into his Back own Herbert the voice days. there for a minute. Yeah. He did his own Herbert. He's like, yeah, started off. Yeah, with the started tape. off with the tape recorder. <laughs> Brought it around all the times a paper boy would come by. And then I decided video would be better. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so good later. See? You're, look at his face is red and he's cracking up. No. So my favorite one on that show, the last one, was the lady, she's addicted to talking to her psychic every day. But here's the best part. She's having a conversation with one of her friends. Her phone rings. It's her psychic calling her and charging her five ninety five a minute. <laughs> she talks to the psychic. She gets done. She goes, "I really, I'm really tired of talking to this one." Five ninety five a minute. This yeah. dude's calling her. Uh, the best part is like, yeah, uh, hey, I got a psychic reading for you. If you don't talk to me tomorrow, you're probably gonna die. <laughs> you, you, you said that yesterday and the day before and the day before. I know it's uh, it's kind of a moving target. <laughs> we want to stay ahead of it. Yeah. I see a long, drawn-out court battle where you're and, going to be fighting charges on your and, credit yeah, card. And just so you know, we round up to the minute. Yeah. <laughs> that was seven seconds. Be 595. Yeah. yeah. Be 595. One second or seven. Yeah. Or all 60. It's still. You, yeah. You say it like it's a benefit. It's one second, seven seconds, or the whole 60. It's all still 595. <laughs> it's like the Jerry Lewis of psychics. <laughs> <laughs> but I just thought it's so great that she's she's having a conversation with her friend, like, and her friend's telling her, you got to stop doing that. Her phone rings, and she, like, discreetly takes, she's like, hello? You know, and her friend's looking at her, and she's yeah. like, oh, okay. Isn't that? She's getting a reading in front of her friend, and she, and she hangs up, and she's like, oh, that was, well, that was, that was my psychic. Oh, hold on now. 5.95 a minute? You're supposed to call them. Right. Well, the best part is that this these shows were recorded a while ago, right? So yeah. she discreetly had to pull out her phone, unflip it. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> what are you doing over there? Don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, and... Uh, hey, hey, your hellos are costing me $5.95. <laughs> I'm going to need to sell down. <laughs> that's the whole That's the whole trick. They're like, can you hear me now? Hello, Karen? Mm. Karen, hello? <laughs> and they're out there for like six minutes doing that. That'll be $40. <laughs> <laughs> but I... But I, I was, it was the psychic energy was just my, not... My psychic stutters. It cost me an arm and a leg. <laughs> Who's you just like Mel Tillis is your is your uh... <laughs> they get on the phone like you you you, 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 you are, 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 are in is it danger? What is it? Today, Junior. By the way, stuttering's a real problem. I'm not trying to make fun of it. We're making fun of the imaginary psychic. Be the same guy in the XFL, he stutters. What's his name? <laughs> we don't know. We ran out of space. Yeah. Have him write it down next time. <laughs> That'd be weird if you like wrote in a stutter too, where you're like, uh, this pen's out of ink. <laughs> I am four words into my essay. <laughs> now it's getting a little hard. So anyway, uh, one last update before we go to a strange story. Um, still no pressure washer, but I was advised 
<laughs> that a truck comes every 10 days and by the manager, by the manager, the truck comes every 10 days. And then by the person right next to him. Yeah. So every Monday. So wait, 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 they have a wait. different calendar at that. I was going to say, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know we're in the Julian calendar. Is that the Gregorian calendar that we gave up? That yeah. look, look that up, Google. Hey, Google, <laughs> when did we go to the Julian calendar? <laughs> yeah. Every Monday, but every 10 days. Right. Yeah. Right. So I was like, yeah, so so every Monday. Yeah. But they're like, no, the truck comes every 10 days. That's what the, and, and then the, the kid, without missing a beat. Yeah, so every Monday. Okay, well, here's the deal. Did they? You're the smart one, apparently, because everybody's told me they're every Monday. Okay. This manager now has said every 10 days. So maybe it's not Mondays. Maybe when I'm checking on Mondays, they got six of them in on Thursday and they sold them all. I don't know. Yeah. You know, but it's just really weird when someone tells me that, like, first off, you can start your fiscal calendar for your company anytime you want to. Right. Okay. But there's still only 12 months. In yeah. It, it still <laughs> runs 12 months. <laughs> you don't get an extra two yeah. or three. You yeah. know, you're like, which I'm not good in math. I'm going to need a couple more months to do that. I mean, if you're Julius Caesar, you can do that, which is why. <laughs> Right. Which is why September, October, November, and December. Right. Those actually are the seventh month, eighth month, ninth month, and 10th month based on their name. But Julius and Augustus Caesar were like, eh, we'll just throw a couple in the middle there. (laughs) We'll just throw July and August in there. We'll push those, those ones that are named by the numbers off to the left. Yeah. So I think maybe that manager, maybe that's, that's his, his his deal. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. His name is like, you know, like Terry. So now there's Terry day. (laughs) His wife is Betty, so there's Bet Day. Bet, bet Day? Bet Day. Is that like Bidet? No, it's Bet Day. Why do I have to say this every time? Well, well, Terry, you named your, your day after a dumb name. I'm sorry. Right. All right, so we got to do a strange story because we've, we've been off strange stories for a while. Nice. I don't know which one I like better, but I, I like I like them running tandem. together like that. I like yeah, them in tandem. Nice. I really do. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> I'm going to do... That was a strange story. <laughs> you went to the official drop? Yeah. Just in just case. Just for a second. Just in case. I like just, that. Just for a second. To see if you liked it. Okay. So I did like it. All right. I did like it. So we. I have three. I'll let you guys pick based on the title. Washington man arrested for shooting fridge after soda can explodes. State or District of Columbia? <laughs> no DC. So I'm thinking it's state. I'm okay. thinking it's state. Uh, bank robbers' handwriting was so bad, staff didn't realize they were being robbed. Or... I'm going to tell you right now, I know which one gets my vote. Sea snakes. Bias. <laughs> don't attack people because they're angry. They're just horny. Mac, what are we thinking? Washington man, bank robber, horny snakes. Bank robber. Bank robber? Okay, we're going bank robber. I would have picked the snake one. No, okay. really? <laughs> <laughs> Happy to disappoint. Yeah. Seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> That's, 11, what yeah. That's what I tell my wife too. That's what I tell my wife. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, need you that. You told her, yeah, you're not. You can't go too far. There is no limit. Is right. also something yeah. you told your wife. <laughs> I'm gonna need one of those applause things. <laughs> 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 that sounds oddly familiar. Yeah. You regret checking out the board this morning. Don't yes, you? yes, I do. Because Ted wouldn't remember that one if you hadn't hit it earlier. So the title: Bank robbers' handwriting was so bad, staff didn't realize they were being robbed. Let's see here. It's always a shocking experience when a person shows up at your workplace and demands all of the money from your cash register, unless you have no idea what they actually want. Uh, the would-be bank robber from the UK might want to invest in a printer for his future heist. His handwriting was so awful, <clears throat> the staff couldn't read the note that demanded money. So it says here, on March 18th, retiree Ian Slattery from St. Leonard's on England's south coast. So this, Oh, this is overseas. So there's already his, ruined. There's his first problem. Thanks a lot, Mac. He's British. There's a first problem. You know what's not British? Sea snakes. You know what's you know what's not horny? This guy. So anyway, we'll figure we'll read sea, sea snakes next week. So basically, he walked in. The 67 year old man. This guy's this is an old bank robber. Uh, he walked in and he handed him a note. Well, did he hand it in cursive and the young, young tellers <laughs> couldn't read it? That was what. That's a good thought. You could it rob was a bank now. Immaculate. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> it was. It was impeccable. They're like, "What is this Sanskrit? Yeah. This is written. Yeah. <laughs> what language is hey, this? Hey, hey, this fancy parchment man wants something. I don't know yeah. what. Your your hieroglyphics. This guy's hieroglyph- trying to write out long form old people money. <laughs> yeah, he's. You, I could just see that guy though. He's that old. He's over there with a chisel and a hammer at where you rake out the checks. He's tink 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 tink. And they're like, we ain't caught on yet. He's going to hand me a piece of stone that says, give me all your money. Hey, hey, Barney, Fred already took the, r- the ride home. Let's go. Let's- yeah. What's that, man? 
said cursive. Yeah, cursive. <laughs> <laughs> old man money. Cursive. Oh, wait, um, is it on your old man money? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, so his note said, uh, your screen won't stop what I've got. Just hand over the tens and twenties. Think about other that, customers. Was, was, was that like a? Was that was it? Was, it, was it, I don't know what I was trying to do there for a second. Was that like one of the lines in J Lo, yeah. like Jenny from the Block? <laughs> that screen won't stop what I got. Because <laughs> I'm known as Jenny from the Block. <laughs> well, what's funny? Very is, poetic you had there. If you want the money, just say, "Give me all your money. I have a gun." But it says your screen won't stop what I've got. Yeah, okay. it's, it's very lyrical. Okay, just hand over your tens and twenties. Think about the other customers. That's his note. That doesn't even, I tell you what, if that was written in perfect English and yeah, I was like, reading I, it. Yeah, I, I still would have been like, what? So you, you want yeah. You want large bills for your uh, yeah. old people money? Is and that what you're saying? And are you stealing wheels for your Escalade? What are we doing right. here, Ian? You tell me. You're 67 years old. You pulled up in a Cadillac. What are we doing here? Tell me. Right. You know, you want some 20s? You want me to drop some? You want some spinners? I mean, what are we doing? You know, are we going to go on MTV Cribs, Ian? Is that what we're doing? Your screen you know? won't stop what I got. Yeah. <laughs> He should have been like, pop, pop, pop. He should have just done it afterwards. Just been all like, screen won't stop what I got. Pop, pop, pop. Ian, Ian in the house. Ian in the house. It's like, what are you doing? You're 67. Uh, we're going to need to call A&E. We got an old man. Yeah. That's that's emergency for, right? for people in England. It's A&E. Basically, the guy left. He turned around and walked away, right? They finally then realized they were getting robbed. So they called in the police. Okay, so <laughs> you showed the police a letter, and they're like, "No, I still don't." Are you yeah. sure you're being robbed? So, uh, getting better at writing, Slattery isn't a man who gives up easily, though. Clearly, he was determined he could do better because about a week later, he decided to go to a different bank and give it another try. <laughs> so, this one, uh, he had written his note more carefully, and it was actually effective. Uh, having read the note, the teller became afraid for his safety and and forked over the cash. He got thirty three hundred dollars. Okay, so I would think if you're robbing a bank, you get more than that. That's kind of weird. No, you put in, well, yeah, you put that much effort into it. Yeah, yeah, thirty three hundred bucks. Uh, I mean, I gotta think there's online scams. You could like prints from you know, you know, New Bain or something, and be like, oh, you gotta send me some money. You could do right. something. You know, if you need ideas, maybe call he me. went I'm into one of those guy. like banks in a grocery store where they're like. Oh uh, yeah, you can have what we have. It's like three grand. I don't. <laughs> sure. And he he turns right to the next counter, and I'll take those Krispy Kreme too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, so anyway, for his third robbery attempt <laughs> uh, on April 11th, there's his first problem. Please no. tell me he's getting away. Yeah, April 11th is not. It's not like <laughs> April 1st, by the way. Uh, please tell me he's getting away in a in a rascal scooter. <clears throat> so basically, let's see here. Slattery's demand, he left without, oh, so they, they didn't give him anything, and he left right away again. Uh, but here's the deal. They picked up on his handwriting, okay, and they had the video from the other two spots he was at. So they went to his last known residence. And It was, uh, it was like, like next to a construction zone, so it's always shaking. <laughs> Here, we... <laughs> He's right where they're blowing up whales all the yeah, time. Right. Stop writing your note out. He's next to a train train track. <laughs> uh, hey, the trains don't run, don't run constantly. Why don't you write your note when there's not a train? <laughs> he, he's doing <laughs> it for cover. I was just, oh, just going to say that he's covered up. I need to cover the noise of my pencil. <laughs> it's mechanical. <laughs> it's mechanical. Click, click, click. click, 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 click. It, it pains me when we have the same I thought. I it very, really pains me. I, you can't see it in my face. I was very angry. Yeah. Well, and you're looking at a guy who has a monkey tail beard. I mean, I've, I've we're, been we're, consistently we're, angry all morning, but <laughs> this was a new level. <laughs> so so he got uh, he got a six-year sentence, four in prison and two on probation. Is he writing letters to his lawyer <laughs> from, from prison? I don't know if he's guilty yeah. or not. I don't know what he wants to plea. <laughs> Does he write letters to the warden? These bars won't stop what I got. <laughs> <laughs> Bring me your tens and twenties, dog. <laughs> you're talking. What's his name again? Ian. Yeah, you're talking to Ian from C Block. <laughs> yeah, these I'm bars won't stop what I got. <laughs> now he does it in the form of Jailhouse Rock. <laughs> he does it in a different song. <laughs> <laughs> Warden, bring your money down to C Black C. You know, it's like what? No, no, that's not how it works. You can't hold me up while you're in prison. <laughs> Uh, so basically, this is not the first case of people with bad handwriting trying to do this. It says in April 2020, a man from a Portola neighborhood of San Francisco 
arrived at a bank. He handed a letter, but the only words the teller could, could make out were all the cash. The teller tried to clarify a couple things. The guy took the note back and left. So <laughs> this is going on my Yelp review. <laughs> so, so in November, 2014, the FBI called, uh, was called, uh, about an attempted robbery to JP Morgan in Houston. And again, the man had handed a teller a note that they just couldn't read. The man got frustrated, attempted to grab a bag on his own. Failing that, he left in a hurry, and he was arrested uh, sometime later. Um, man, this is this is crazy. All this because you can't write. Yeah, I would think if 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 first off, this is apparently how you're making your living. You're going to want to train. Okay, you're going to want to be a little well, first. Maybe, maybe they're in the car before they they, they get a little nervous. <laughs> They've lost their voice because they're nervous, and they're like, oh, I'll just shut it down. And they're nervous, so they're, you know. I was just thinking the getaway car, they know he lives on a frontage road because he yeah. writes the note on the way there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. By the pattern, he absolutely lives on a frontage road near train tracks. Yeah, this, this is clearly <laughs> the west side frontage road. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see here. I fled the bank. Oh, so basically the, the whole message here is, kids, if you're aspiring to be a bank robber, stay in school. You need to be able to write legibly. Now, I go back to you. If you just write in cursive. Yeah. You know, now if you're trying to do this and you're handing the note to, you're going to want to not write in cursive. You're going to want to have impeccable yeah. handwriting. But uh, but if you write in cursive, like if, if somebody brought me a note, first off, if they were 20 and I was the bank teller at 45 and they handed me a note right. in cursive, first I'd be like, good for you. Right. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I'll give you my own $5 bill. That's, you know what? Congratulations. Yeah. I don't want to give you nothing out of the drawer, but I got a 10. Wouldn't kids today just like type it on their phone and then like blow it up and then like just slap the phone to the glass? Yeah. <laughs> they got a QR code for it. Yeah. Scan this. Scan this. <laughs> Scan this. Oh, wait, are, are you connected to Wi-Fi? Yeah. Well, oh. like, turn your Wi-Fi off. Turn it back on. Yeah. Yeah. You got to accept the terms and conditions. Yeah. Okay. Now scan it. <laughs> Meanwhile, the, they're they're under the desk, like hitting that button. <laughs> they rob you. They're like, let me give you my PayPal information. Yeah. You yeah. can send can it you right just Venmo to me. me. This. You can send it right to me. <laughs> That's so awesome. I would set up a. Uh, fake my bet. name is Touchdown at XFL.com. <laughs> Backslash allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> right. Forward slash legally binding. <laughs> that was the other name we did. Quarterback is legally binding. Yes. <laughs> legally binding. <laughs> and the referee, the referee just on the back of his jersey says blind and he's got a cane. He's walking around. He, he, ain't, he ain't seen nothing. <laughs> that, no, that didn't see nothing. That's his name on the back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I didn't see nothing. <laughs> Their coach, wait, what? We can't seem to get plays in. Wait, <laughs> what? Wait, what? what? <laughs> I love that button. <laughs> it was better, though, when he said it. Yeah. Because. I mean, he's the original. Right. <laughs> this is flattery. Wait, wait what? what? Yeah. Yeah. That is. I think he only put that on there to boost his own ego. True. That's probably what it if is. They're doing me. They're quoting me on their board. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> the board that I wrote and I built. <laughs> we figured out the clues, Matt. Get to the bottom of that one. <laughs> <laughs> No, that was um, that was a good story. But I, I, I do I your do your snake story. We know you're gonna we're gonna bring it back until you. Can, do can we do it? Yeah. yeah, we have time. We have time, right? Come on. Okay. So, so snake story. So sea snakes. All right. Not S E E S E A. <laughs> sea sea snakes. Well, thank you. I'm. Are you trying to rob a bank? You're making sure you're legible <laughs> right. over there. Yeah. Uh, they don't attack people because they're angry. They're just horny. Uh, what part of the people do they attack? Uh, divers. Well, I didn't say what kind of people. I said what part of the people. Like, oh, what? I that I don't know. Yeah, like, I how do they figure that out? Like, what if they're just going for knees and feet? And like, this and that kind of kink? Hey, like, hey, oh, I, we didn't know they were into knees and feet. So oh, that's what... It's was a the, serpent with a fetish. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. That's what led us to the discovery. It's like, take those flippers off. I can't yeah. read your note. It's yeah. written in cursive. <laughs> I mean, if all of these sea snakes are attacking buttholes... <laughs> That conclusion is, you can make that conclusion earlier. <laughs> we found this hole in his wetsuit. Yeah. We know where the snake got in, If sir. they're only attacking, like, elbows and stuff, <laughs> you got to learn that the snakes have kinks first, and then you can <laughs> right, determine why right, they're attacking. Right. <laughs> you know what's weird? There's a lot of merit behind what you just said. You should be a scientist. I, I was just, oh! <laughs> Damn it, I was just going to say, well, I am a scientist. You're, <laughs> what am I, a farmer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Legitimately, what am I, a farmer? What am I, a farmer? What do you farm? Sea snakes. <laughs> hi, Matt. Hi, Matt. Just saying hi to Matt. <laughs> Everyone support your local farmers. That is true. I, I, if you're not going to farmer's markets or buying directly from your local farmer, you are... Stupid! Yes. You're so stupid! 
So this starts off, there's a whole bunch of uh, fatally venomous animals living somewhere in the wilds. Among the most to toxic of them are sea snakes. Now, I did not know this. Did you know that they were toxic? No. I did not know, know that either. Uh, let's see here. They breathe air and spend their entire lives in the ocean, in the open water. So it really isn't the kind of place you want to get a snake bite. That's correct. If you think about it, if you're out in the middle of nowhere, I mean, what's the odds you're carrying a snake bite kit in the middle of the ocean? That's kind of weird. I don't know. Uh, do I have a submarine used to smuggle drugs made out of wood? <laughs> then possibly. Then maybe. Yeah. That and a snorkel. Right. That's all I bring. What's a survival kit? Survival <laughs> kit. Uh, we're, it's a uh, horny snake season. I'm not going in there unarmed. I think there'd be a third thing, but then you'd have to be sponsored by Trojan for your, yeah. for your iron horse, your, your, your wooden horse. You're, yeah. you're going underwater with. Why is your wooden boat shaped like a horse? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't you We're worry about it. We're filming a commercial. But I'm protected. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not hard to imagine if you're underwater in a boat potentially miles away from the shore and your muscles stop working and your nervous system fails, uh, it's going to be turning out the lights. I get that. So basically. Yeah, I'm, how, much, how many times is it like, oh, that guy's having a stroke before they figured out it was horny sea, <laughs> sea snakes? <laughs> There's a lava lamp yeah. floats to the <laughs> floats to the top of the water. Ooh. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't think fast is going to work on this. <laughs> we need another an, an acronym, an acronym, an acronym. I can't. I can't talk today. <laughs> so, so it says the worst part is they just attack divers and fishermen for no reason. So they thought places like Australia's uh, Great Barrier Reef are notorious for this. Um, let's see here. The, their venom is drop by drop the most potent of all sea snakes. Um, since you attack, it attacks both your muscles and your nerves. So that would be crazy. Cause yeah, not only would you cramp, but you can't, you don't have any control. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. Luckily these encounters rarely result in bites. Still, if you're a diver and you have potentially deadly animal zigzagging around you looking for an opening. Now that's weirdly worded when it says they're looking for an opening. <laughs> See, I told you. Yeah. 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 Why is your opening exposed yeah. in the middle of the water? That's a better question. You're in those old timey, uh, <laughs> Old, old timey. Uh, Where are you going, suit? diving? Why do you have your chaps on? No, what the, are you doing? <laughs> like those overalls that had the butthole, yeah. like the butt flap for when you go to the... Yeah, Charles Ingalls yeah. is out in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> You're There's in a wet suit with a... <laughs> with a trap with door? A, yeah, with a trap door in it. <laughs> well, so that was your first problem. Well, the good good news is if it's buttons, snakes don't have any fingers. Right. So there's no way they're... Well, that's why they're zigzagging. Yeah. They're trying to like loop around the button. I'm kind of curious to see how this plays out. No, <laughs> swim away. Swim away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. But okay, so so it says uh, uh, a new study published in the Scientific re uh, Reports has shed a light on why these snakes suddenly attack people. It turns out <clears throat> they're not being aggressive or angry at all. They're just looking for some sweet, sweet love. <laughs> Want a whole lot of love. <laughs> Want a whole lot. Yeah, they start playing like, you know, the... You know, <laughs> slow, you know, like smooth jazz or... So. We be stroking. <laughs> <laughs> See, is he... Is he got on some Barry Manilow? Uh, is he got Barry White? <laughs> was, hey, well, but, any of the berries will work. <laughs> <laughs> He's got Barry Williams? He's like... Hey, Barry Greg, Williams. Right? Uh, uh, Greg Brady's coming. <laughs> -na 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 -na. Oh, no. <laughs> -na 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 -na. We're, are we in the middle of the ocean and I hear the Brady Bunch? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Do sea snakes get cable? <laughs> oh, you get antenna for this. Brady Bunch is an antenna episode for sure. <laughs> it's like that stupid commercial because like here I am a few miles offshore in in, uh, in like the Czech Republic, and I'm getting signal that I shouldn't be able to get, but it's because they have to trans. They have this whole antenna, and I'm like, first off, where are you a few miles offshore in the Czech Republic? <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? Right, you know. <laughs> I've been hey. to Czechia. Okay. <laughs> did you get cable yeah, a few did, miles Did you watch the Brady Bunch? <laughs> no, I actually didn't watch any TV there. No? No. Do they have TV there? Yeah, yeah. Our Airbnb didn't have a TV, though. An Airbnb didn't have a TV? Correct. Wow. That's a good commercial. Airbnb, no TV. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of it's a lot of letters in there. Yeah. I, don't, I think I'm missing something. <laughs> Bring your iPod. <laughs> 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 Is there anywhere you haven't been? Yes. Did you see any sea, sea snakes when you were there? No. Try harder. <laughs> A lot <laughs> of graffiti and cathedrals. I don't. I don't think either one of those have to do with sea snakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Things on land don't have sea snakes. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of like serpents. Not a whole lot of love. <laughs> 
what, what were you just sightseeing? What was the purpose of that visit? Yeah. Uh, we were in Prague. That oh, was, yeah. huh, that's something then. On the way to Poland. Huh. All right. That's something else then. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. cool. I got, I'll give him that. I, I mean, it so it has no bearing on the story. How much, you, <laughs> how much do you charge for watching these dogs? That, yeah. Because yeah. you take a lot of overseas trips, man. Yeah. And, uh, Aunt Linda, you're about to be broke. Yeah. It's, <laughs> What's the GC paying you? No, it's it's just, you know, first of all, you can fly over there. You don't have to pay for a three-month boat voyage. Yeah. <laughs> that was directly to you, sir. Yeah, that's cool. <clears throat> that was directly so, to you. Yeah. Once you get there, Airbnbs are real cheap, and then we just walk and take the train. Doesn't doesn't really cost that much money. Hmm. Well, I kind of hope you end up in the ocean and see snake find <laughs> you now. Yeah. 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 Have Turns you ever been to Australia? No. You can start up a GoFundMe. It's on the list. <laughs> It's a land down under. Yeah. Okay, so go anyway. to the Great Barrier, Re- Great Barrier <laughs> yeah, go Reef. Go to the Great Barrier Reef. <laughs> Wear your trapdoor wetsuit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should have paid attention to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so the lead author, get this, his name's Rick Shine. All right, uh, evolutionary biologist. Yeah. Uh, it's very fortunate he went with Rick. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> the Claire. Okay, I've heard that before. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's Rick. <laughs> For the love of God. So he basically tells everybody that wild animals don't attack people without good reason. Snakes on land almost never attack people, but there were all these stories about sea snakes doing it. So he thought it was bizarre. So why the hell would a sea, sea snake race towards a person underwater? Well, I mean, lots of stuff, right? I hate to say it. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like, uh, how did they determine this was the... So Tim Lynch, the uh, he he was, <clears throat> oh Tim Tim Lynch wrote his thesis on this. So Shine and Lynch got you know, together. Hey, hey Shine, you know what? Yeah, I think them snakes horny. Well, here's and the deal. I, wa- I want to prove it. Given COVID nineteen, all their stuff was shut down, so they were able to pair up and basically go out in the water and and prove his thesis correct. So they could, they had a control <clears throat> controlled environment. environment yeah. Okay, because they had time. And they could be out in the middle of the ocean. We got plenty of time. You know what we can do? Right. We can go play with them horny snakes. <laughs> play a little patty cake with them snakes. So they started reviewing the, the data of on olive sea snakes. So first off, olive sea snakes, there's your first problem. They're olives. They're gross. Nobody likes them. So they're they're shunned. They're shunned by society. Okay? Um, and they taste awful when they're ground up. Well, when you get a pit in them, Uber. Yeah. <laughs> So... Uh, in total, Lynch had recorded 158 snake encounters, out of which 74 started with the snake approaching Lynch. Okay, he's his own test dummy. Right. No, no, they found nobody else. They didn't find him. In, in this time, too, where people are laid off, they found nobody's <laughs> like, hey, you want to see the world? Hey, uh, you want to volunteer? What's the job position? Chum. <laughs> well, we're not friends yet. No, its position is chum. Yeah. <laughs> you are bait. Yeah. Um, so furthermore, of those 74 encounters, 13 involved the snake charging Lynch. Curiously, all the charges occurred between May and August. The olive sea snake. Wait, was that when they all hit his credit card? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> now the snakes a, only fans? Now they're a Judge Judy. Yeah. <laughs> I want those purchases reversed. <laughs> I want them. <laughs> when the hell did you subscribe to? <laughs> you have K- you have direct TV in the middle of the ocean? <laughs> So you can watch a Brady Bunch on Nickelodeon? Come on, what are you doing? When it's time to change. <laughs> yeah. Basically, May and August is the May, May to August is their mating season. So additionally, every time the snake charged Lynch, it had just before that engaged in mating related behavior. So what if I'm gonna use my science stuff here? <laughs> yeah. What if it wasn't because they wanted to mate with with uh with Tricky Shine over here. Right. What if they were just like, hey, clear out, man. This is my, <laughs> I'm getting some action over here. He's I don't blocking. want you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's I don't want you. Him. I don't want you watching. I don't want you active. <laughs> I don't want you a part of it. Put that camera you, away. You were way bigger than me. I need you out of here. Yeah. <laughs> well, here's the thing too. When they say <clears throat> they're horny. Because like, if let, they, just, now, now, if let they me, just did this. <laughs> yeah. Did they want to go get, like, what was round two already up? <laughs> let's say like, let's say you're in, you're, you're having relations. Yeah. Do you want someone hanging out right and like right outside the door or like just at the door or like around like, hey, just uh, just checking out why you're doing that. <laughs> just checking it out. I'm just here to and watch. And if you come rush them, they're like, oh, you must be horny. <laughs> <laughs> you're clearly horny. You're clearly you horny. didn't get enough over there. You want more over here. 
Okay, I'm seeing some flaw on the slaw here, man, is what I'm saying. <laughs> so it says the male snakes that had charged Lynch had either been uh, squaring off against another male snake, so defending their whatever they just found, or chasing the female that got away. Female snakes, on the other hand, <clears throat> had been escaping unwelcomed <laughs> amorous advances. <laughs> yeah, so the female snakes, so like, she's I already got put up with these dumb snakes. Now I got these humans out here that want a piece too. Yeah. She's like, I, I'm fleeing that guy that's chasing me because he's trying to get a piece of all this action. Right. And you're in my way. Right. Why is she charging me? She's not. She's fleeing. Yeah. This. Okay. She's trying to get away and you're blocking it. You're blocking the exit path. Right. Get out of the way. Right. That'd be like standing at the finish line of a race and be like, why are all these people running at yeah. me? They're trying to get to where right. you are. They just ran through mud and electrical wires and fire. <laughs> yeah. Get out of their way. They're dragging Ted. Yeah. <laughs> you are not going to stop them. They, they have overcome some stuff. They're now using your head as a battering right. ram. <laughs> they have overcome some stuff, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. So they they went ahead and they they combined their their findings and they determined that basically the only way to keep this snake um, from attacking is to break its heart because it says that when it grabbed one of the guys, it had. Slew it around them. Do they have one of those like underwater chalkboards that just says friend zone? <laughs> I mean, I like, I like you as a person, buddy, but, or I guess as a snake. His wetsuit says it's okay. not you, yeah. it's me. Yeah. <laughs> but no, what's weird is, is they said the one wrapped around him and like went wrapped around his flipper. And I'm like, so, told you foot stuff. Foot fetish. Foot fetish. You know, he's trying to get to them toes. He's yeah. trying to pull that flipper off. Yeah. Show me them toes. <laughs> the way you said that, trying to get to them toes. <laughs> he's trying to get to Let them. me get in the little piggies. <laughs> We, we, we all the way home, buddy. And then Shine's like, I picked the wrong day to get a pedicure, you know? <laughs> They're all painted nice. <laughs> no! <laughs> His buddy's just over. Lynch is like, no! no! <laughs> so, yeah, they said the only way to do that really then is to basically show that you're not willing to participate. Okay, well, go how do you, back. How do you show a different creature? Yeah. Like a snake, for, no less. Yeah. So you're not willing. Yeah. Well, and the second thing is, is that he's he's chasing the first female that wasn't willing. Yeah. So. Oh, this guy's not leaving. If, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. if you're not faster than her. <laughs> right. One of you is getting it. Okay. Yeah, it's like that old joke. I don't have to unru I don't have to outrun the zombies. I just got to outrun yeah, you. I just have to outrun you. Right. That's it. Yeah. I don't have to be the, the fastest guy here, but I can't be the, the slowest. slowest. Right. Okay. That's all. Should have used him flippers for something else. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, if you're ever caught, now Mac, I know you haven't been paying attention. If you ever see a snake coming at you, you want to welcome it with open arms, yeah. and you want to take off any flippers you have. <laughs> yeah, you want to you want to literally be Creed with arms wide open. Yeah. No, <laughs> the guy in the body cast, just stand yeah. there, yeah. stand there, just like <laughs> yeah, with just his open fingers, like come on, take take me now, come on, take me now, come on, take <laughs> take me now, come on. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one, he gets brought up on charges of sea snakes trying to flee. <laughs> He's chasing the snake. Uh, yeah, he wanted it too much. Yeah, but but their math doesn't work because, like I said, yeah, I'm telling you, when they hand this paper into like a sci scientific review, they're going to yeah. be like, uh huh, yeah, sure, yeah. So let me get this straight: they're horny because <laughs> they just did stuff. Right. Okay. Now, if you said we witnessed them taking naps, <laughs> okay, right. they're going to be like, oh, right, I, 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 okay, gotcha. Um, right, we witnessed them. <clears throat> Pressing pause, putting the controller down, yeah. taking off the head, like the headset, <laughs> stretching, and then seeing you and being like, oh, and swimming towards you. Maybe you got a, an argument. Right. But you, you just watched them have relations, and then they were like, get out of here. Yeah. Get out of here. Get, get, get. Wait, you're watching that? Get out of here. <laughs> I need that footage. <laughs> I don't, I do not condone this. <laughs> but, but, and then at the same time to be like, look, you know, she's fleeing, he's chasing. And you get caught in the middle of it. That that's not. Yeah. You know you're you're gonna partake in an act now. Right. You are the slowest creature right. in this equation. So I don't know how big. It doesn't say in here how big sea snakes grow to be. I would hey, love Google? to know that. Hey Google, how big do sneeze sneeze snakes <laughs> do sea snakes grow to be? That's gonna be a weird. Yeah. That's gonna be a weird search. <laughs> yeah. You know what's weird though? We could Google anything we want on people's cars right now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, so thank you for letting me read that because that was coming next week regardless. Oh, I, I knew. <clears throat> that was I knew that we week. might as well just get it out of the way because we were going to get it to it eventually. 
<laughs> it's never not going to not happen. Right. It's going to happen. Right. So, and we'll save we'll save the other one, and I'll see if I come up with some better stuff for next week. Um, no, I, it's kind of good to be back in the normal practice now, where we get to do a little. Yeah, we were <clears throat> get to do a little crazy yeah, stuff. Yeah, we were a little out of the out of sync for a while there. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, so but we we've never been in the shower, but we were totally out of sync. <laughs> let's let's end. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even allowed in this bathroom anymore. Let me let me end with one more. Well, that's because you. <clears throat> You know, yeah. That's where you make your hot pockets. That's where the sea snake sits. <laughs> yeah. You keep your toothbrush in there? That's gross. You can't use my bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Damon made a hot pocket. Is he going to go to the bathroom now? <laughs> if I put it on the well, table, Ted will eat it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I want to do one more fight me, bro, because this one is really good. All right. Okay. So a kid challenged me to a fight uh, over where my friend group was sitting at lunch. When it was time to fight after school, he said his mom had called him and told him it was meatloaf night and he had to go home. My friends called him meatloaf kid for the rest of the school year. <laughs> of course they did. <laughs> First off. If anything meat- else we've ever done in the show, yeah. that checks out. The meatloaf kid would have been the greatest, <laughs> greatest nickname yeah. I would have ever had in high yeah. school. <laughs> right. Because you would have been Norm then. You would have, meatloaf! <laughs> and here's his sidekick, the potato boy. <laughs> <laughs> We call them mashed taters. We call them mashed. <laughs> the meatloaf kid. Yeah, meatloaf and mash. <laughs> Could you imagine? Going old, on ABC 730. Like an old Western. Yeah. It's like, who does Wyatt Earp? He's going to get meatloaf kid. <laughs> it's the meatloaf kid. Um, what is he What is he doing? <laughs> you know? You hear that weird, like, high 10, like, bullet shot. <laughs> who was that? He brought his sidekick mash. <laughs> The Lone Ranger's really got his work cut out this week. <laughs> and the sea snake's wrapped around his foot going, I know you're the meatloaf kid. I know you're the meatloaf I'm kid. I'm not I'm just hungry. <laughs> Give me that meatloaf. <laughs> Take these flippers off. You're in the Wild West. <laughs> where, where can they find us, Put, the, put them sexy toes in some boots. <laughs> Oh, we broke back. <laughs> they can find us at thatchecksout.net or on the socials, that checks out WTT. That's with Damon and Ted. I'm Ted. That makes him Damon. We're coming to you from Audio Hive Podcasting Studio with our super producer, Mac. Yeah. Super Thanks attentive. Every- <laughs> yeah. Thank you, everybody, for listening. For Damon's Monkey Beard, I am Ted. That checks out. Still needs this. throwing this extra bit in here because you guys got to hear Damon's like pure unadulterated joy at uh, his new sample. Yes! Oh! <laughs> yes! <laughs> All right, give me some music, Mike. Oh, that's my job, isn't it? Yeah. Where did it go? Wait, Wait what? what? <laughs> Oh, I I think I accidentally deleted the music. (laughs) When you were installing that wastegate. Stupid! (laughs) You're so stupid! Uh, (laughs) Yeah! Nailed it! (laughs) I guess we're doing this. uh, There we go. There it is. <laughs> Did you just recompose it that fast? Yes. yes. I think I deleted it. Did you call it. Dan? I was scrambling. Dan Healy, real quick. Be like, hey, Dan, uh, I'm going to need a favor, <laughs> but we can't talk about to the boys about this. <laughs>